In this video, I'm gonna show you to create a speed ramp strobe transition effect like this. So the main effect is that it's slowly strobing between one clip to the other, but it's building up and getting faster. And to do this, let's begin with our first two clips. So I'll take a clip one right here, and I'll take clip two. These happen to be in a portrait sequence, but it can work for whatever size sequence you want. And you just wanna create a little bit of overlap where you want them to transition. So you see here on a track above the first one, I've dragged my other clip and slide it over so that we have this overlapping section. And just to make it easier on ourselves, I can press C to grab my cut tool and cut that little edge there. But now that I have this little section that overlaps, I wanna head to my effects and search for one called strobe light. So I can add this onto the top clip. And what this does is by default, it adds a white strobe color. But what I can do instead is change it to make layer transparent. So that'll make this layer transparent. And since we have another layer underneath, it'll show through the other layer. So in the effect controls panel, it's where I'm adjusting all these parameters. Another one you have is strobe duration and strobe period. So right now it's flickering every half second, 0.5. Uh, it's flickering for half a second on every one second. So it's basically even. But what we can do is add keyframes to make this go from a slower to a faster flicker, creating that ramp up in speed and build up effect. So I'll go to the beginning of wherever I want. I'll start on these keyframes and then I will go forward a little bit and change the strobe duration to be really fast, like 0.05 to 0.1 maybe. So it's like 10 times faster. And I'll just take these two keyframes, move them all to the end of where I want the transition to end, which in this case is the cut. And so what we've done, if I play it back, is we start at a half second strobe. It slowly gets faster to a quarter second, to a tenth of a second all the way to a final strobe. So you can play around with what different ratios look like, and then you're cutting to the next clip and whatever else kind of impact or transition you want. In the beginning example, I just lined it up with your sort of drum cinematic music to add that impact, but that's the main effect there. Hey, if you wanna learn more about speed ramping and other tutorials and transition techniques, you can find those on my channel in a bunch of playlists. I have hundreds of videos. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.